When all the members congregated below the tents, it was a celebratory atmosphere as they rejoiced in song and dance for the freedom granted many years ago to practice their religion in Trinidad and Tobago and for the holiday which was granted by former Prime Minister Bas Diopandi 21 years ago. <laughs> Bishop Mural Dillon said although they have much to be thankful for, not much has been done over the last year to continue construction of their multipurpose facility at Signal Hill because of financial constraints. I am suggesting that all members of the spiritual Baptist community in Tobago be invited to a consultation next month where we can review the work done on this project so far and come up with recommendations to assist the progress of this much needed facility. Minority leader Watson Duke, who was a part of the street procession and the formal event, urged the Baptists to continue steadfastly along the journey, which has been a struggle for many years. When you see wrong things going on in the House of Assembly, shake your bell and walk the streets. Yes, shake your bell. It's okay, it's okay, and I'm giving you permission now to come by the assembly house and shake your bell. Shake your bell, they, they can't lock you up because you are free at last. And Chief Secretary Kelvin Charles said the story of the spiritual Baptist liberation speaks of courage, persistence, endurance, and creativity. Much like the of Tobago's current evolution. Even today, as of the autonomy bill that affects an ongoing struggle not merely for recognition as to big onions but for the opportunity to de determine our path forward as an island fashion a robust economy and an enduring society other religious leaders were invited to bring greetings at the event as the members of the Baptist faith believe the way forward for a society is to unite with each other. I'm Patricia Nicholson for C News.